Hello everyone, I'm Vanya. I recently graduated from IIT Madras and I'm currently working as an NLP research engineer at Pytons. And I'm here to uh, present a demo on the automated evaluation of GNN explanations with neurosymbolic reasoning. And these are my co-authors. Um, so the motivation for this work was uh, mainly for uh, the master data management, which is used for managing the entities in the customer data and uh, an entity is basically a person or an organization and entity matching in mdm is the task of predicting if the nodes in a graph are the same real world entity uh, so for this gnn models are being used and there are gnn explainers which output a subgraph explaining these neural model predictions by showing the important nodes attributes and the edges. So evaluating these explanations by showing it to a human or a human evaluator or a domain expert is expensive. So we need an automated solution. Uh, so we took the approach of symbolic reasoning. Uh, we used a description logic, which is a formal knowledge representation language, more expressive than the propositional logic. Uh, we use this language to represent the universal truth, the, the GNN explanations, as well as the neural model predictions in terms of concepts and relation. Uh, the reasoner of this description logic is uh, given the explanation and prediction as the input, and it uses uh, rules like modus ponens to evaluate whether the prediction is correct, given a set of universal axioms. Uh, so coming to modus ponens, what is modus ponens? So I'm sure many of you are familiar with the example that if there's an assertion that Socrates is a man and we know the universal truth that every man, every man is a mortal, then uh, we can deduct that uh, Socrates is a mortal. So we propose using these kinds of deduction to evaluate if the explanations from the GNN model explainers are accurate or not, not correct. So uh, coming to an example uh, used here, uh, consider this entity matching example of the two instances of Murad Gurnas belonging to the same real world person. Uh, this is the neural model prediction. And uh, consider the GNN model explainer, which gives us the important features and the edges required to uh, predict that the two instances are the same. So we have chosen some important features from the explainer here and displayed. And our goal here is to evaluate whether the explanation with uh, respect to the universal axiom which we have, uh, whether this uh, explanation is correct or not. Um, so the GNN explainer basically uh, gives the important nodes and uh, attributes uh, with a score attached to them. And uh, we are uh, trying to automatically evaluate explanations such as this. Um, so we can write universal rules uh, or common explanations by uh, subject matter experts, uh, just as uh, similar to uh, creating an ontology. So for example, there could be a universal rule that if last name, home address, telephone number, uh, uh, and a uh, zip code are the same, then the two entities might belong to the same real world person. Using rules like this by subject matter experts would be less expensive than uh, trying to evaluate all the explanation by an end user. So um, if there is a universal rule like that, then uh, we can create a rule such that if all four of the attributes which explained before are the same, then uh, we can say that the two uh, entities are similar. So a rule is written like this. And the proof generated by the reasoner would go uh, would go like this, where it uh, first returns all the attributes which are uh, satisfied by the given data. And then it implies or it concludes that the two uh, entities belong to the same real world person. So if ex the GNN explanation satisfies the axiom, then the reasoner would output 
uh, such a proof but if it doesn't then it returns an error so we know so the, this way we can evaluate the explanation uh, so in the demo here uh, we've we can see the output from a symbolic reasoner as a proof for the explanation and so we can use uh, such a mechanism to generate a lot of predictions their explanations and run them through the reasoners to measure how many times the explainer passes uh, the reasoner and we can use this accuracy measure as a cheap proxy for the expensive human evaluation of the explanations uh, so this is the uh, this is our demo where a human annotator can possibly verify that the two nodes are likely the same entity and our um, our reasoner would uh, tell that uh, would verify if the explanations given by the GNN explainer are correct or not uh, much like the human annotator so uh, so this can be done in an automated way and these are the references used for our work Thank mm -hmm. you.